children, let's finish the nativity story. After they heard the king, they went on their way, and behold, a star which they had seen in the east went before them, until it came to a stop over where the young child was. Wow, I didn't know a star could move like that. God did that so the people will know where Jesus was. That's right, Bridget. I'm glad you're listening. Wendy, I'm reading the nativity story. Uh, you should come over here closer and listen. Nope, I'm fine over here. I'm reading my own story of Peter Pan. You have no choice, young lady. Get over here and listen up. I don't want to listen. I don't believe in that anyways. Angels, wise men, and a baby tracking star? At least my story doesn't claim to be real. Oh, ho. It's Christmas Eve, Wendy, and you know I always read the nativity story. It's the birth of Christ, and it, this is why we celebrate Christmas, not for toys and presents. Well, I don't believe in Christmas or Jesus anymore. All right, Wendy, go to your room right now. Stay in there until you have respect. Fine. Don't come back out. Think happy thoughts. 
Climb in the trees, play in the mud, and swim in the lagoon. Wait a minute, you see that? Over there? It kind of had wings. It looked like an angel. Oh well, I guess just my imagination. But watch out for crocodiles. I'm not afraid of those. I'm not afraid of those ugly crocodiles. I'll chop their heads off. <laughs> this is an interesting place. Maybe I can discover more plant species. Well, I'm just glad that there's no parents here to tell us what to do anymore. Welcome all to Neverland, an island full of food, fun, and no rules, and Christmas all year long. I'm hungry. Let's go get some bread. Follow me. Let's go. <laughs> See here, King Herod, ruler of the desert. <laughs> what? How dare you question me? I know how to spell. Sir? What is it now, servant girl? Maybe you should call the lost wise boys and ask them. For once, you have a good idea. Lost boys, come forth. Lost wise boys, at his service. Wise boys, yes. <clears throat> well, tell me, oh wise ones from the east, west, north, and south, does this say desert or dessert? Well, Sir, we don't know. We were only trained to know important things. Important things? What do you mean important things? I have killed people for less. You four have one chance to prove your worthiness to me. If you cannot tell me what is important, I will have you fed to the lions immediately. Well? Sir, we have come to the tutors in Neverland. A girl and a few boys. Please, oh wise and merciful one, may we be free to find out what they're up to. Wise and merciful, I like the sound of that. This time, I'll be merciful. But first, go and find out what these intruders are doing on my island. And bring back word to me, so that I may find out. Now go, speedily. Do not fail me, for this may be your last chance. <laughs> so every girl, it's time to clean out my toenails. <laughs> how, 
How are we going to complete our mission now that we have to capture these intruders? What of the mission? You know, finding the baby, the one that's supposed to be the Messiah. Oh yeah, we get back to that. Sooner or later. Well, I guess it's going to be sooner than later. Well, 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 look who we have here. The little girl was with Peter Pan. So you're the one that brought her here to Neverland. Peter, you as parents for this and all your friends. I'm gone. Get back. Unfortunately, Wendy, there's no such thing as a perfect world. Enough talking. We must finish here now so that we can look for the baby. Baby? What baby? You haven't heard there's to be the baby born in Neverland. He's said to be the Messiah of the world. Wait a minute. I Not can't believe it. Mother was right. Can we help you find this baby and tell me more about the Messiah? Nonsense. We will not side with the likes of you all. Oh, God. Wait a minute, she wants to be the Messiah just like us, like you said earlier. He's coming to save everyone, who are we to deny them? <coughs> I've had enough. If you guys are going to side with her, you are no friends of mine. Yeah, I think I see their ship. I see a green little man. The 
green little man. That's Peter Pan. Now, how far away do you think they are? About a hundred knots away. hundred knots away. They're just right there. All right, full sail ahead. <laughs> Not now or ever. Don't worry, Bridget. Johnny, he won't hurt us. I won't let him. Oh, but I will, Wendy, darling. There is a way you can save your family and these lost boys. Don't listen to him, Wendy. Don't tell him anything. Yeah, we'll protect you. You lost boys will be the first to die since you rebelled against me. I know you've traveled a long way to see this new king be born. And I wouldn't want you to go home empty-handed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> You will never get away with this, even if you destroy us. This new king will be the savior of the world. Just tell me where is he to be born? No, I'll we'll never tell you that the new king will be born in a small town called Bethlehem. Bridget! Yes, Bridget. Thank you for telling me that this new king will be born in Bethlehem, the next town over. Okay, let's see. I've got to think of a plan to destroy this baby. Sir, there's someone at the door. What is it now, Alice? Somebody at the door for me? Who could it be? Maybe it's one of your friends. But I don't have any friends. Well, it could be UPS. You know, it's Christmas and all. All right, everybody, stay right where you are. Let's go get the door. You watch them, okay? Make sure they don't leave, right? Counting on you, buddy. Hurry, quick, he's gone. How do we get out of these ropes? Does anybody have anything sharp? No. No, but maybe I could look around this room. Let me try. Nope, it's too fast. probably on his way back. Oh no, I took care of them. As soon as they opened the door, they were put in a deep sleep. Oh, wait a minute. You used your magic fairy dust, right, Tinkerbell? Fairy dust? No, I had a burrito on the way over here and kind of let one rip at the door. As soon as they opened it, they passed out. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get out of here to wait. Let's go. Uh-uh. Oh yeah, 
sorry, sorry. Get him. What? These ropes! They're gone! What happened here? How could you let this happen? Ow! <laughs> now what am I going to do without them? <laughs> Fine, quit! I'll get another god! I've got to destroy this baby somehow and get a new god at the same time. Let's see. Hmm. Wait, I got it. Bethlehem's just the next town over. I'll kill every male child two years and younger. That would ensure that the kingdom of my, will be mine forever. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no kid to laugh. I guess I'll just have to get a burrito. I'll do the killing tomorrow. I bring you good news of great joy for everyone. The Savior. Yes, the Messiah. The Lord has been born tonight in Bethlehem, the city of David. And this is how you will recognize him. You will find a baby lying in a manger, wrapped snugly in strips of cloth. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God. had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Come on, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this wonderful thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. And that's how it all happened. Well, what time was this miracle supposed to take place? Um, around 8.30. Oh my gosh, it's almost time. Hurry, follow me, guys. Look at the North Star! This is the Messiah that will save the world from sin. We brought you gifts of gold and praise and mercy. Johnny, Bridget, 
I forgot about the true meaning of Christmas. It's not about silly toys or presents. It's about Jesus Christ being born. Let's bow down and worship our new king. Christmas Day. 